Aquarius, how you doing guys? So we're going to do your reading. Don't forget you can also watch this as Leo or a Life Path 8, which means that you can watch Leo readings even if you don't have them in your chart because I read from numerology and at the top of major arcana cards of Leo and Aquarius, the star and the strength card, they're both eights. And that's how I read. That helps me channel messages and God knows what else. If you are interested, I'm also having Damien or reading some of the cards or reading someone. Um, but yeah, if you are interested in learning that, then uh, please join the button below. So let's see. Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? So I've got the moon, Cancer Scorpio, poss uh, possible, uh, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, but possible Virgo. Okay. Life path nine, Virgo energy, someone that's a mother waiting for someone to open up their feelings. I'm a little bit unsure of whether I should open up my feelings towards this person because I don't quite know if they're with anybody, if they're seeing anyone. So I don't really know whether I should open up. I'm just kind of biding my time, waiting to find out kind of what happens in the future. Not really rushing into anything, just kind of more along the lines of like investing long-term investments of money. If something is coming up around your work life, then this is where the possibilities of something happening, we're just waiting for something to happen to change here. Okay. There's also like this waiting on a connection. Um, let's see, Aquarius. So you've got the Seven of Cups, possible signs of ADHD for some of you. Metaphysical, oh, Jesus Christ, Aquarius. So are some of you grieving over the past or have you just lost your mind here? This can be someone that's metaphysically lost their mind, like right up in cuckoo land of metaphysics, right? Just believing in the things that are not true and it's driven one crazy. Just saying, sorry, but it is there. That is a possibility. Okay. Metaphysical twat flame stuff. Okay. Um, because this can lead to paranoia, okay, and worry and stress and, I don't know, people not believing in certain things and telling people that, you know, you're supposed to believe in this and they don't and they end up thinking that you're crazy, which is why I'm saying never really keep talking about spiritual stuff here, right? But it's up to you. Um, there's this energy of getting over the past. Someone, you or they, are not with anybody, single, Um it's also like this waiting to find out what my mum says. Um, but yeah, not even not even talking, just getting over it. Okay. Not speaking to someone. I mean, that's a term of ghosting, but I just believe it's just not talking, gone silent, control, narcissism, gaslighting, um, paranoia. Let's see, Aquarius, Four of Pentacles. I don't believe you're actually with anybody here, Aquarius, for, for a lot of you. I don't even believe, if you are possibly coming up to the point of having a connection with someone, they may already be in a relationship or married. They may be. They could have Sagittarius, Taurus, or like Path 5 in their chart. And they're trying to weigh up the pros and cons between work life and relationship. Trying to juggle both money and my relationship. If not, or a Pisces, if I say not, uh, swinging upon a tree, then this is kind of like a lot going on with someone's work. Like I'm kind of juggling my bank and my money and, and sending, this is like sending money from one bank account to another bank account, a business bank account, a savings bank account. This is more of a savings bank account. And then this is like sending it over to another bank account here. So it's like a boss that's paying people maybe here. Employment. Um, right, so let's go down the lines of finding out all the messages now. So why does Aquarius have the moon? Please explain more about the moon card for Aquarius. Queen of Swords asking someone or wanting to about a commitment or relationship. Someone could physically actually be in one, but you're unsure of whether they are or not. <laughs> okay, because you may not have spoke to each other about the relationship of you two, 
meaning that someone can already be married or in a commitment already. One of these people. If not, this could be your mum and your dad. Your mother and your father are together in a commitment, right? Because <laughs> that would relate to family. That is a mother. That is your mum, their mum, blah, 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 or father or stepfather, either, even, or Stephen. Um, if it isn't anything to do with that and there's a commitment here, it's more of a metaphysical one, maybe connected to one that already has it, right? If you're coming up as the same element, you're just coming up as a very wise individual that is talking to someone because the Queen of Swords is intrigued to find out whether someone's actually dating somebody or not. Let's see what the Seven of Pentacles is. Leo or Aquarius, because it's an eight, and a rejected energy of the Ace of Cups, meaning I might be waiting to offer or be offered, but if nobody is, the opportunity goes past, past and nobody offers. Because this is where people are like, or the offers or St. Neots. <clears throat> okay, but um, in readings, a lot of people, when they watch, they watch to see, is so-and-so going to communicate with me without doing so? You can't never tell in a reading, meaning that if this isn't offered by either of you, then the opportunity is a wasted opportunity and nobody reaches out to one another. So you can wait, if that's what you're doing, waiting to see if someone reaches out. Okay, and if they don't, and you don't, then nobody does. Do you get me? Okay. Because it might be where somebody wants to offer someone and they want this opportunity with someone, but they're already a counterpart, the King and the Queen of Swords. Seven of Cups. Nine of Swords in reverse in the Tower. Someone here is having a, a complete metaphysical breakdown here. Metaphysical breakdown. This is an awakening. That's what I told you. Sorry, but people that are waking up, I run 10 miles from them. I do. Because <laughs> uh, when I was having an awakening, I was, uh, yeah, God, I was going crazy. So, like, me, I can't deal with all of that now. Sorry, but this is like having an awakening and just like, <laughs> you know, twin flame, twat flame. I'm an archangel light being of God, like Natalie, alchemy. But like I'm a twin flame, Blu-ray, psychedelic twin flame, archangel fucking person that can <laughs> fly. Maybe, you know, don't go and jump off a building for God's sake. Okay. Um, I get them all the time. Trust me. I oh, can't, can't deal with it. <laughs> Sorry, Aquarius. Uh, but I, you know me, I'd speak the truth. And if it's there, it's there. If I see it, it's up to you what you do. But there's also someone that is metaphysically having a breakdown of possibly not being able to be with someone anymore because of the amount of control, narcissistic behavior, trying to change someone. This can also be emotional burnout. If someone has, because the reason why this is attention deficit, depending on which way I put it, but this is brain fog, okay, and can't seem to concentrate on one thing at once. Got too many things going on for me to concentrate in one direction. So it's concentration. And because of the fog, it's brain fog. So it means ADHD to me. <clears throat> so this can mean like burnout. I'm doing too much work, too much analyzing, too much thinking, and I'm literally burnt out. This can be depression as well. It can also be jumping to conclusions and, um, you know, accusing people of certain things that, are, that, that they're not doing. This could have been the reason why a breakup happened because of too much control, too much demand, um, maybe too much um, trying to change someone. See, because regardless, both of these mean mental health. So you could have been or are or have connected with two people. The person of yourself has our ADHD and the other one could actually be like narcissistic. One of you may have ADHD and the other one has bipolar because this is like a Jackal and Hyde energy or the name Jackie, but a Jackal and Hyde. One minute I'm okay, the next minute I'm not. One minute you're blocking me, the next minute we're back on. 
then we're off, then we're on, then we're not together, then we're arguing, then we're together again, and then we're not. You come back in my life, you ghost me, you're a narcissist, you're a narcissist. No, I'm not. You're confusing. Because these are both like all gaslighting, narcissistic, confusing, brainwashed energies, but they're also mental health energies as well, meaning it, it possibly isn't just one person. <clears throat> you could or have or had a soulmate that has been researching someone that much that they've convinced themselves that it's not them or Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jack, and Jasmine, Jack. And I've convinced other people and myself that it isn't me, it's them because they have ADHD. When really what I have is, I don't know, paranoia, trust issues, narcissism, gaslighting, confusion, trust issues, okay, and all of the above. Depression, anxiety, worry, stress, grieving. It's all washed into one here, Aquarius, or Leo, or Life Path 8. Let's see. Nine of Wands. This person's coming back in real quick. This is also going on between a mother and a father, like maybe your parents. You may find it very, very, very difficult in order to get on with your mother or your father or stepfather and stuff, and there's things going on around parents. The mother and the son here are normally people that are divorced when you get the son in the reverse. Uh, excuse me, guys. Okay, Aquarius, I do apologize about that. That was my business partner with... Oh, there's loads going on with the, with the franchise at the moment, and it was it's absolutely chaotic, so I've got so much to do. Uh, keys to the restaurant is what they wanted. So um, anyway, so mother and father, stepmother, stepfather, divorced, separated, possible, and then also stepfather as well. So like it would be where your parents possibly divorced, and then it can be where they met other people, and this is going on around your family or their family. Okay. So there can be a lot of like family involvements here. There's also this energy of where the family itself also think that past partners have done their daughter or son wrong. Meaning that, you know, what's going on with you now? Oh, he's an arc, she's an, you know, are you together anymore? No, right, I've told you, don't get back with this person anymore, blah, 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 just let him go, forget about it, you know. But I can't, I'm still connected, but I'm getting over it, I won't get back with them anymore. But there's possibly this Knight of Swords now that comes in for a supply of something here, because it can be narcissistic supply, it can be someone that, you or they are addicted to one another of the destruction that you go through of this search, destroy, needing of energy, wanting each other, but not wanting each other, and the confusion of like hating and loving one another. Yeah. It's kind of like a, a very bad karmic situation gone wrong where family are involved and all family members know about it and there's all of this like blah, 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 right here. So my advice, if you want it, okay, it's up to you, is to never really tell parents about what goes on between your spiritual connections um, and friends, really. So, some friends, maybe, but, you know, the more that you tell families when you've split up and you get back, if you ever did or do, you do that much harm that they end up, like, hating the person and then you have to live with that, right? Right. Um, let's see, what is the Four of Pentacles? Aries, Scorpio Aries, Life Path 4. Stable individual of a business owner and a very stable masculine energy that is paying more attention to their work. And, it, like, you know, try being in the restaurant business of a franchise. This goes on in my work. I have, uh, I have it three to uh, twice, actually, Aquarius. Uh, and Venus, for one, and Mercury, um, communication. But um, this this is kind of goes on around my work. This could actually be like work chaos, like loads of things going on around chaos, KO, um, C and Co. Could be a company, uh, Tesco. Could be like a food company or something here. Tesco is in Britain is a... Like what you guys get, what, Costco's and stuff or stuff? Morrison's, Tesco's. Um, 
What is the Two of Pentacles? There you are, Aquarius. Wow. Somebody, this is happening to a lot of my readings, is entering the fold towards the end of the week. There's this grieving energy, impossible, possible talk with an ex that clarifies the beginning or the definite ending. Def, Steph, Jeff, Steve, or Sarah. But like this definite ending or possibility of beginning. It's up to you. Because there can be someone new here. And this is like, I'm getting over my past, blah, blah, blah. But I might try one more time in order to reconcile and communicate with them. I might. Because this doesn't guarantee it because, or Gary or Tina, this can mean to my father. I have to contact my father or mother, right? And we've separated and they have and they don't get on and all that sort of stuff, right? So it may not mean communication from a partner. It might mean a parent, right? Or an ex. Um, now, the Queen of Pentacles, this is a stable individual of someone that could be coming into the fold of work that you may meet at work here. Yeah. But <laughs> they could already be in a commitment or relationship because that did just come up in the reading that I did before your one which was Taurus. Okay. Taurus, life path five, Sagittarius. Right. Look for those readings and find the similarities between the numbers. What's the Hierophant? Two of Cups, same energy that came out in Taurus reading. The Two of Cups, they also had the Six and the Chariot. Oh, my God. Watch... Um, Taurus reading. You'll see these two cards, three cards that all come out. I'll be damned if this is the Six of Cups. <laughs> yeah. Libra. Here. <clears throat> these same cards here, they all come out in a row like that. Jenny or Jennifer or Julian or Jason or Justin or Jackie or Jack. These all came out in a row like that, right? There's this energy of work. Something starts to happen or communication at work. A Two of Cups, like... Someone that I work with, that I start to build and form this connection with someone that I'm working with. This is like working. Now, there's a few messages. Hold on. Don't click off, Aquarius. So let's go over if this isn't someone new and you communicate with the old and you possibly want to try to work on the commitment or the marriage or the relationship. And you both, you both have to agree that you do. You can't have one that says yes and one that says no. Because if you do, then you get the new person if it's a no, right? So if it's a yes and you do communicate with an, with an X energy and you want to look forward to the future together, there's, there has to be this energy of an understanding of possible bipolar. Two of Pentacles can, like I said, ADHD. This can relate to anger issues and bipolar. Yes, no, no, yes, Jacqueline and Hyde. One minute you're okay, the next minute we well, are not. One minute we're looking forward to the future, the next minute we're concentrating on the past and the devastation and the shit. Then I think about the past all the time, that comes into my future and I manifest that and you go through a whole cycle again, right? So it's going to be down to both of you if any of you do communicate that, that will either be a yes or a no. If none of that seems to be feasible or possible, then this is a decision, the fact that something could be going on at work with someone that is possibly new. Okay, here. Because this is working at work, communicating with someone that is Sag Taurus. Sag Taurus 5, Life Path 5, Sag Taurus 5. Okay, communication, Leo Aquarian, Life Path 7, Cancerian, Aquarian Leo, Libra 5's mixture of charts. Aquarius, right? Looking forward to the future of a connection that I possibly have with someone new. Right? So this can be the masculine that's moving away from a feminine that could have lost their mind. I'm sorry. But we've got a few things going on. So <clears throat> somebody's moved away from an energy that was bad. Okay. They're trying their best in order to move on with their life. And they're looking and possibly met someone new that could possibly lead into something more than a two of cups in the future. This is future. Could be at any point this week, next week, next month, two or three months, a year's time. But it is the possibility of that. Right. 
Do you want to work on the possibility of a new one or do you want to work on the possibility of this again? And is this someone that's grieving the loss, separation of this energy? All right? Sorry, but I'm shaking the camera. Someone here is grieving the loss. Someone here is moving on and moving, moving, moving. <laughs> what are they, a cow? Or is it Kelly? Hello, Kelly, 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 Casey, someone from Australia. Not that you're a cow, Belle, but feminine or masculine, it's up to you. But say X, energy, grieving, the loss, blah, blah, blah. I'm over it. I'm done. I'm not really, but I'm, I want to communicate, but I don't. Masculine energy, moving on with my life, going in this direction, possibly looking for someone new. That could be around work here, right? You've got that energy. Now, if there does end up being a three, this can mean the fact that this is a person that's in this commitment, king and the queen of swords. They're in this. They're already in it. And they want out of it because it's a narcissistic, gaslight, and confusing relationship. And they want out of that. And what they want is something like this. And it can be what they get. They come out of this. Suddenly they fucking wake up and smell the roses. And then they come over to this side and be with this person here. If it's new, because this can be a new person that you've met. Here's the door. Here's the left side and here's the right side. If I can get over myself, I can actually be with this person if I end up coming out of a commitment that I don't want to be in. Right. There you go. Let's do a couple of these. Aquarius. I think the time is getting on, really. I've spent too long babbling on. People are going to have clicked off and <laughs> looking for an immediate answer to quickly go on to another reading from someone else. Aquarius. Or is that just in my head, Aquarius? Do you all do that? I wish you would stop complicate, uh, complaining at me. There's this gaslighting, nine and fives and fours, gaslighting, complaining, moaning, fucking constantly at each other's throats, unhappy in a marriage or a commitment, had enough of one another or your mother. Let spirit take control. Give it time. Could be this energy. Right, so when you don't try to force any kind of commitment or relationship or whatsoever, when you're just easy come, easy go, and you concentrate on your work stability and your emotions are stable, that is when you will meet someone new. If your emotions are all over the place, completely scatterbrain all over the place, chances of you meeting someone new ain't going to happen. <clears throat> okay, so what it's saying is, is release control of an expectation and just let things happen naturally, or naturally, could have gone crazy, but let things happen naturally, okay? Don't try to force anything. Don't try to make someone be in a commitment or relationship just because you've got a connection with them. That never works, okay? So let spirit take control. Give it some time for a new energy. I think an old energy, I think it's up, I think, like this. Aquarius, why are all my cards? Because you got them in reverse, you dickhead. <laughs> I am thinking about leaving you. Eight, Aquarius Leo. I'm thinking about going elsewhere and what. So, so if that's actually leaving you, <laughs> are you with this person? <clears throat> You're actually with them. Because if you are, then there may be someone that is like, I'm really considering leaving you for this new energy here that seems to be stable, grounded, that has time and someone that I'm connecting with and I'm thinking about leaving you for them. Yeah. That's if someone hasn't left somebody. Any other messages for Aquarius? Yes, but the time is not right yet. <laughs> so I believe here that someone is considering leaving a person because they're just possibly really not getting on. It could be very toxic could be drugs or alcohol maybe um, influence and under the influence and that sort of stuff and what not going on and they want to leave that person and they've met someone new and they are considering leaving this one and they want to go over to this side but this side is saying look you know i could well have just got out of this 
And I do, yes, I do have a connection with you. That's quite apparent, right? Because we're communicating, we're talking all the time. And whether you know it or whether you don't, we've kind of got a connection. But at the moment, the time isn't right for me to be in a commitment with you yet. We're just going to have this why it's asking some of you to temper your energy, to not be so, shit, let's quickly get straight into this and damn, look at you, right? It's more of this, let spirit take control. Don't rush a friend, if they are a friend, into a commitment or relationship. Don't never say to someone, oh, my God, I would drink your bath water. I want to be in a commitment with you now. It has to be today or tomorrow. I need to know. Don't do that. Okay, let things happen between a spiritual connection. Right? I've been through most, <laughs> I've been through years of them to experience the fact that any time you ever try to control destiny, it fucks you up because of the lessons that I ta taught you over on the join button. Destiny is a preordained destiny that is fixed. If you try to change something that's already fixed, you're going to what? Break it. So do not break what isn't fucking fixed, <laughs> right? Don't break it. Right? So you don't need to fix anybody, you don't need to change anybody, and they don't need to change for you either because it's all part of destiny. When you try to control your own life and wants and needs, you come up as a codependent lunatic. Right? So don't be one of those. Right? <clears throat> don't try to control jobs and people and arguments. The more you try to control an argument, the more it gets out of hand. You have to walk away. Okay, if you want a commitment and a relationship, you don't have to force someone to leave someone. Okay, you just have to be there for them, support them, communicate with them in a natural manner to let things happen naturally. Do not ever think that you can change a preordained destiny. Okay, you might say, well, I have free will. Free will will just take you down a path of like, okay, you want to start this cycle? Okay. <laughs> okay, but we'll soon bring you back to square one of where you realize that your free will was taken from you for a bad choice and a bad option that you made. So it just teach you differently in a different manner with someone else or something different. Okay, just a very brief overview. But anyway, there's your reading. Thanks, guys. If you want to support me further and you want to go over to the join button, it's only 2 or $3. There are 35 hours of teaching videos over there where I explain a lot about different things. But it's up to you whether you believe me or not. It's up to you. You will have your own beliefs. But the join button is open below. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you soon.